Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tang Zijie, and I am a student from USM, where I am a candidate of LSP 404 Technical and Engineering English. In this presentation, I am going to discuss about does technology make people feel alone. So why I choose this topic is because I think that technology has huge influences in our daily life. By the inventions of multifunctional devices such as computer and mobile phone, technology has changed every aspect of our life. However, with so many ways to connect with others digitally, why are people still feel lonely? Can technology play a role in reducing our feeling of loneliness? These are some questions people have been asking. So, let's discuss this today. My presentation will be last about 5 minutes and I have divided them into 3 main sections which firstly, I would like to outline technology help to reach and bring people together. Secondly, I will discuss on how technology facilitates creative activities and the development skills. Finally, I will explain on technology cause social isolation by lacking of face-to-face -face communications. First of all, we are going to discuss on technology does not make people feel alone. So why I say like this is because technology helps to reach and bring people together. Technology can cross geographically borders. Take for an example, people can interact through online by just send a message to a friend on Facebook rather than a call. Also, video calling platforms such as Skype, Zoom, and WhatsApp may also help in reducing loneliness, especially for those who have limited mobility. Besides, these platforms is an easier way to express our feelings, especially for introverts. It's because technology not only offers different communicative options that do not require constant face-to-face -face interactions, but also create an illusion of connectivity, which is a way for introverts to appear connected. Also, loneliness among older folks become more common due to people are more busy with their work. So, older folks are often left behind and feel disconnected. However, older people who use technology are likely to be more alert, useful, and tend to seek for new skills. They can form a community to share their hobbies so that they do not feel isolated. Let's move to second point that is technology facilitates creative activities and the development skills. Due to technology brings new potentials for development and activities. In addition to COVID-19 pandemic, social distancing has been enforced amongst the general populations to reduce the transmissions of COVID-19. So, Many schools decided to switch to virtual learning because people feel isolated and disconnected. However, online activities can be conducted to overcome these problems. So by hosting online events such as study groups or online lecture, students can get more involved with teachers or their classmates to prevent isolation because they can share their ideas. Educators can also share inspirations and positivity during lecture class, making students aware that they have someone to talk to. Furthermore, many companies have been forced to make the shift from traditional operating methods to full or partial work from home during moment order control. Thus, it's obvious that technology offers an opportunity for young people to collaborate and develop new skills and often increase their confidence in other areas of life so that they do not feel alone. However, there are always two sides of a coin. So let's look at another perspective of technology that is Technology prohibits people from meaningful connections. People do not engage with surroundings and community, even with their family members or friends. As a result, 
people appear to be unapproachable and busy with their technology platform, which will then lead them to loneliness. So these are some examples of how technology makes people feel alone. As a result, people nowadays are suffering from conversations and communications. Starry at phone means that we are further excluded from people around us and make our relationship more worrying. Loneliness can be devastating, even terrifying, if not recognized and addressed. They can also contribute to depressions and other negative mood states. It is hard to tell whether we are more lonely because of all the time we spend online or we are spend so much time online because we are more alone. People today are more connected than ever but feel more isolated and disconnected than ever. However, this should not bring us the potential advantages of technology to reduce loneliness among people. One must know the advantages and the disadvantages of technologies and try to balance between technology and our relationships so that to reduce loneliness. It is not possible to eliminate all technology from our life, but we should have self-control by using it less or differently. Again, this is example how I try to balance between technology and relationships. So, I could like to say that technology does make people feel alone or not. It depends on how you use it. So, that's all for me. Thank you for your listening.